Tia here with Mastering Pop, and today I'm going to talk about the importance of keyword variations when optimizing your website. Hey everyone, I'm Tia Jones with Mastering Pop, which is mastering profitability over popularity, and I'm also the creator of the No Fail Mastering Ecom Workflow Bundle, which is a digital marketing course that's available right now. Today I'm going to share with you the importance of keyword variations, but before I do this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a video. I upload digital marketing videos that will help you to generate more revenue and scale your store faster. Okay. So while it's still best practice to target just one primary keyword per page, there's ways to rank a page higher for different variations of the keyword or keyword phrase. If your primary keywords are competitive and your domain authority is low, it's usually best to give priority to your one primary keyword. All right, so this means you're using exact matches of your primary keyword in important areas like your title tag, meta description, Uh, your URL, and maybe even uh, one or two times in your content body, right? So your product description or your collection page description. Okay, so this is all a part of writing SEO-friendly copy. Using variations of your keywords throughout your product pages, collection pages, or any page on your website is more more of an organic alternative uh, to keyword stuffing or using the same term over and over and over again on a page. Uh, You can actually be penalized for keyword stuffing. So uh, I encourage keyword variations and moderation. All right, so what you need to remember is Google's looking for a a more organic strategy. That's where keyword variations of, uh, that's where variations of keywords come into play, right? So when you start optimizing your website, ask yourself, what describes the main topic of the page you're about to optimize? Now, I'm gonna show you what different variations of the primary keyword may look like Um, And I'm going to go ahead and use my website, Gaming Girlfriends, as an example. So here we go. Uh, This is my website, Gaming Girlfriends. And I I rank for different variations of uh, gaming girl chair, right? So obviously, I sell gaming chairs for girls, right? So I was going to optimize all of these pages, especially the collection, which is uh, this one right here. And if you can see at the bottom left, you see gamer girl chairs. That's the URL collections forward slash gamer girl chairs. Um, I optimize for different terms, the title, the meta description and the on page copy, right? So here we go. If I type in gamer girl chair, you'll see that I I think I'm number five. Let's see, let's count this again. So one, Amazon is one, Amazon is two, Amazon is three, Photodune four, yeah. So I'm five for gamer girl chair. Now, if I type in girls gaming chair, it's a different variation. You see the 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 competing, the amount of competing pages is uh, 28 million. So 20, 28 million, other websites uh, have the same exact phrase on their website, right? Girls gaming chair. So not number one, not number two, not number three, not number four, not five. Oops. Looks like I'm number eight. Let's make sure here. Nine. Yeah, looks like I'm number eight. So I'm number one for gamer girl chair and girls gaming chair, right? So now we're going to try women's gaming chair. So you can see right here, there's 51 million competing pages. So 51 million websites have the same exact uh, phrase on their website, women's gaming chair. So I'm number two. So we're going to look at gaming chair for women. So it looks like I'm number three. So 63 million competing pages. So let's try, let's try a girl gamer chair. So we use the word gamer and not gaming. So girl gamer chair. 
not number one, not number two, three, four, number five. So as you can see, the competing page numbers, it, they all differ. If we go back to our original search, which was gamer girl chair, it was 65 million competing pages. So now I want to show you what this looks like uh, as far as search volume. So we're going to, I'm going to show you the search volume for some of these same terms that we just looked up. All right. So we're going to, we're going to check out the volume on some of the terms that I was just talking about. Right. So I'm going to type in gamer girl chair so that we can see the search volume for this specific phrase. I think there's a better way we can do this too. <laughs> I don't think I know. So here's the volume. This is the global search volume. So that's the amount of people uh, that are searching uh, gamer girl chair on a monthly basis. So what I'm gonna do instead of typing in gamer girl chair, I'm gonna type in girl chair because we looked up terms with girl and we did women. So we'll do both. Actually, let's go just with chair. So with chair, we're going to do a search now. So we're going to do a control find. So now I'm going to type in gamer girl chair. All right, so see, now you see 880 for this one. So girls gaming chair, search volume is 5,400 for this one. We're going to try women's gaming chair. 210, right? Now we're going to try, uh, let's try gaming chair for women. 170. I'm just going to do all of them, right? So what's the next one? Uh, girls gaming. Was it girls gaming chair? No, we did that one already. It was girl gamer chair. Girl gamer chair. So that's 390. So if you tally up the search volumes for all of that, we're, we're looking pretty good, right? If we're on the first page, which is obviously going to help us with traffic because this is, again, this is a search volume, as you can see right here, search volume. Uh, so uh, that's what it looks like. That's why you want to use different variations of keywords. It's really that simple. Uh, you want to optimize your, your title tag, your meta description to include the terms uh, in different variations. And again, you don't want to keyword stuff, so just um, be mindful of the amount of variations that you're using. Okay? All right. I believe that's it for now. I hope you found value in this video. Uh, thank you.